even if there has been a lot of problems during the last 10 years, uh, Swiss, Switzerland is where uh, asset management was born. So Hello Rene and thank you for joining us today. So let's jump straight in. Would it be true to say there has been a renewed interest recently in the registration of Swiss foreign intermediary companies, especially by European citizens? Uh, yes, uh, completely Jake and firstly uh, thanks for your invitation. And uh, yes, uh, last year we have seen a renewed interest uh, uh, in uh, Swiss uh, in financial intermediary company, whether uh, clients were purchasing existing entity or whether they were asking to, for us to set up uh, new, new entities from scratch. And uh, it's true that a uh, lot of the clients were actually from Europe, which is a little bit uh, surprising actually. So why are we seeing this renewed interest, especially as Swiss companies don't have the, the same rights to passport work across the whole of Europe? Uh, actually, I think the first uh, reason it's because it's Switzerland and uh, uh, even if there has been a lot of problems during the last 10 years, uh, Swiss, Switzerland is where asset management was born. So, so there is a lot of weight uh, from this weight a lot in the decision. Um, Yes, uh, Swiss financial intermediary cannot be passported as a uh, European company uh, could be, uh, but still they can actually uh, do business with a worldwide uh, client basis. Uh, the only limitation is, for example, uh, the asset manager cannot physically go uh, in France, for example, or in Germany to market his uh, services. But as long as the client comes themselves, they don't have limitation to the type of client they can receive. And uh, I think that another reason is because uh, when you are setting up an asset management company, uh, yes, you want to do asset management services for your clients, but you also sometimes want to deal for your own accounts. And uh, one of the problems in Europe with these kind of things is if you want to set up a financial service company which deals for its own account, you need to have at least uh, 730,000 euro paid up capital. While in Switzerland, there is actually no minimum paid up capital. The minimum paid up capital will come from Swiss company law, which is 100,000, of which you only need to pay the 50,000. So basically, if you want to set up an asset management company, it's less uh, capital intensive to do it in Switzerland. So how are these companies regulated? Alors, uh, in Switzerland, basically, you have uh, two types of financial uh, company. You have what we call a special financial intermediary company, which are, for example, banks, which are uh, insurance, uh, stock brokers, gaming companies. Uh, those uh, entities are directly regulated by FINMA and need to apply for a special authoriz authorization or license from FINMA. Then you have what is called other financial intermediary company. For example, asset management company, payment service provider, credit company, uh, money remittance company. And uh, for those company, um, they are supervised either by FINMA or by what we call SRO, which are self-regulated organization. Uh, put it this way, SRO are a professional organization which role is actually uh, to check that companies that want to engage in what we call other financial intermediary services have a proper due diligence, proper anti-money laundering uh, procedures. And uh, once uh, the company has registered with them, they will check from time to time that the company is uh, uh, doing things properly. So basically, it's a profession which auto-regulated itself. One thing you have to know as well is, uh, if you choose to get uh, directly uh, supervised by a uh, SRO, uh, the name of your company will still ap appear on the FINMA website. So. so what can Swiss financial intermediary companies actually do in terms of financial services? Alors, in terms of uh, financial uh, uh, services, uh, the scope of services which uh, um, financial other financial intermediary can provide are actually quite uh, wide. Uh, they can, for example, uh, carry out uh, credit transactions, uh, financial leasing, mortgage, uh, factoring. Uh, they can also um, provide services related to, to payment service uh, providing. 
providers. Uh, they can trade for their own account or for their client account in uh, a market i a money market instrument, a precious metal, commodities, securities. Uh, they can also manage assets, provide investment services for their client, and uh, they can also hold securities or deposit. Finally, when they are asking, uh, acting as independent asset manager, they can also uh, market a collective investment scheme. So finally, talk us through setting up one of these companies. How long does it take? And, uh, I think um, how long does it take? Uh, it will depend whether we start from scratch or whether we are using uh, an existing shelf company. So, but basically, uh, it will take between four to eight weeks to set up a, a Swiss uh, financial intermediary uh, company. Uh, by comparison, in Europe, the process will be four to uh, five months. So, so it's easier. Uh, it's not easier, but it's, it can be set up. You can be in business quicker if you do this in Switzerland. René, thank you very much. So it was a pleasure coming, Jack. And thank you for watching. And to learn how you can get in contact with René and see more videos like this one, head over to dukascopy.tv.